Hello, hello. So in this exper this um, video, this is a science experiment, and what in we are going to be doing in this science experiment is to check to see if an egg, this egg, floats or sinks in certain types of water, and um, the uh, the independent variable here is the amount of salt. So each glass cup here has the same amount of water but it has different amounts of salt so the salinity is different this one is fresh wa water um, this is um, four tables ta teaspoons of salt not tablespoons teaspoons six teaspoons of salt and eight teaspoons of salt so we're going to see if um, the amount of salt affects the density which in turn might affect if this egg floats or not so let's get started and the salt and one quick thing um the salt right here although it is sea salt and sea salt normally costs more but um you can get this at sprouts for only two dollars and twenty cents so this is pretty cool okay so um let's go try this so i have these tongs right here um we're going to take this egg and test it so uh let's see okay Let's go and let's push, let's put it in, but not with too much force, and otherwise it, um, it might, gravity might affect it too much. Okay, so we can see in the fresh water, the A just sinks down super fast. So, no, it does not sink. I mean, no, I mean, yes, it does sink. No, it does not float. Sorry. Okay. So let's take this out and test it on the four teaspoons of salt one. Okay. Let's hope. Okay, let me just move this right here. Okay. And we're going to put this here. We should dry it out first just so that um, we don't want the, the water from the other one interfering it with it. So this is dry it real quick. And okay. So let's keep going. Uh, okay. So there is some pieces of salt kind of stuck onto the egg, but whatever. Okay, um, one thing I just noticed, um, the water levels are slightly higher in the ones that have salt in them. Um, I was told that once salt, dis salt dissolved, um, the volume would remain the same. It looks like maybe the, the, the salt didn't dissolve completely, but almost. It shouldn't really affect the results that much. Okay, so now uh, let's test it in the four teaspoons of salt glass cup. So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to put it into here. Alright, so let's put it into here and see what happens. Ooh, so it actually, it's in the middle, it's in the middle. And then it floats. Is it completely floating? Um, let's see. I can see the surface, the surface. Partially, it's mo but mostly it is floating, um, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the recorder, but it is floating. It's not floating the highest possible, but it is floating. So I would say yes, but um, not not strongly. It doesn't float so strongly up. Cool. Right. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go and do the next one. So let's just take out the egg. Uh, with these tongs and okay so let's take this out right okay so now we just wanna quickly clean it a little bit um well not clean it but dry it and and so we get ready though and that's my measuring spoon right there which I used to um, put the um, salt inside so okay so next one um six teaspoons of um, salt okay so let's just take this egg and then put this into here and see what happens. Okay. This is, I think it's probably gonna float a lot higher than the other one. Okay, as we can see, it it floats like the other one. Um, the surface, it seems to be a little bit more surface than the other one. Um, so it looks like a little bit more is sticking out of the water into the air. And we have the egg floating. So this is, definite yes and so let's take the egg out okay so i think on the eight teaspoon one it's probably going to be like 
it's probably gonna float pretty high. I I expect I expect maybe maybe even half of the egg to be in the air and half of it to be in the water. And I have salt all over this egg, which is I gotta take it off because it kind of adds a little bit more, kind of distorts the results slightly when I add it to the next cup, but not that much. It's not a significant amount that would really change anything. And this is not really a, a like super scientist experiment where you need super accurate results. It's just a student experiment, so that won't matter too much. Okay, next we have the 8 teaspoon um, of salt uh, glass cup. So let's drop it in and see what happens. Okay. And, um, okay, surprisingly it did not float um, half way up and stuff like I did, like I expected, but um, a, ma a larger portion of the egg is in the air than than the six um, six teaspoon um, glass of uh, salt glass of water. Um, so yeah, this does float, and it is uh, of course a little bit more floaty than the six one. Oops, accidentally zoomed. Yeah, so it is right there, eight teaspoons of salt. So, cool, awesome. We have great results, and I can always rewatch my own video if I ever need to um, recheck the results because the four te teaspoon salt one was a lot slightly debatable, but but it was more on the floaty side. So that's that, and and we are basically done. That's it, and. This cool experiment was just take this egg out and of course I'm not going to be eating this afterward nor am I going to be drinking any of this um this egg is now inedible because now it's like I don't know uh, I don't know you take it out of the refrigerator and, and if you eat it it's probably gonna cause you diseases anyways I'm going off topic so I have great so this was the nice science experiment it's called the seawater density experiment I should have mentioned that at the introduction Oops. Okay, but there we go. That's my uh, science experiment that we have to do.